Today's project is to duplicate a little headband like this with some bunny ears, but make them much, much longer. This way you can pretty much customize uh, any set of ears you want for any project you want. When you look at these, it's a pretty simple design. You just have two pieces of fabric that are joined by a seam around the outer edge and then somehow you're connecting some stiff wire that's in the middle into a headband. Now these are a little fancier. They actually have a little set of lights in them. We're not gonna go quite that crazy, but it certainly wouldn't be difficult to do if you uh, found a nice lighting package, like for instance, stealing them out of an existing set like this. So let's start with making our ears like that. I've got a long piece of fake fur here and I'm just going to fold it in half. So the fur is on the inside, that's our good side, and I've got the fabric here on the outside. Now I'm just going to sew our ear-shaped pattern on this. For the longer ears, I'll put a little curve at the bottom, and then I'll do the points at the top, and the rest will pretty much be straight. Now that I've got it sewn, I'll just trim around fairly close to the seam so I can turn them back right side out. Here's the shape of my ear. Of course, you'll make two of these, and now we just need to turn them inside out. So now it's right side out, the fur's on the outside. If you wanted to have, say, a pink inner ear, uh, instead of cutting the front and the back exactly the same size, cut the inner ear out of, say, pink felt a little bit smaller then go ahead and still sew them together. You're gonna to have to be probably pinching up a little bit in the fur to make the outer ear small enough to match up to that inner ear. But if you do that, when you turn it inside out, that uh, extra fur will lap over the edge and give you that inner ear effect that you wanted. For these, we're basing it on a comic book. They always look kind of the same front and back, so this was fine. Our next step is, get, is to get some wire so we can uh, make these stand up, because right now they're a little limp. So here I have some light wire. This is 16 gauge wire from uh, Home Depot or Walmart. They have it in their picture hanging section. Uh, coat hanger wire would work fine. The bigger the um, ears, bigger and heavier the ears, the thicker the wire needs to be. So this is fairly light. I can easily bend it with my fingers. Uh, and you can see that I've cut it awfully long because I need to make some uh, adjustments in the bottom so that it'll fit into a headband. You can uh, scrounge up headbands from you know, old projects, old, thing, old things you have, or you can go to pretty much any Walmart Target kind of store, uh, go in where they have hair berets, um, hair brushes, stuff like that, and they'll have some of these. Try to get them as wide as you can for these bigger projects because you'll need the extra strength to them. To make these stand upright, we need to come to the ends and make a 90 degree bend. Okay, that's gonna keep it from flopping back and forth this direction. To keep it from going in the other direction, I'm going to come out a little bit and I'm going to make another 90 degree bend. And this sounds crazy, but I'm keeping it 90 degrees to my upright still. So I've just made a little corner there. It's pretty easy. Then I'll go out a little bit and I'll bend back down so I'm parallel with my original one. So what I have here is a little landing that can sit on the uh, headband. Drilled four holes, two legs for each ear. I've put the um, wire through on the top, so that's nice and stable. And then at the bottom, I just folded it flat. That pins the wire on here and makes it incredibly stable. This really isn't going anywhere. Then I can go ahead and slide my ears down here. I've done a little trim 
This is my Usagi Ujimbo ears, so they are tied at the top. Got it down, I can put a little bit of hot glue there to hold that in position. Because the wire is in there now, you can bend these and they'll stay where you want them to be. These are about twice as long as the first store-bought ones that I showed you, and my wife decided those weren't quite long enough. These are twice as long <laughs> as the next ones. So here are these longer uh, ears. Again, swept back so it looks like the wind has them. They're a little unstable. Uh, we're actually using a piece of uh, shoelace to come down behind the ear and tie underneath the chin to keep them in place all day long. And that's one of the things you have to take into account. If you make them long enough, you're going to have to uh, somehow anchor them because this is a lot of weight to be carrying around all day. We also went in and put a little bit of leather just glued on the inside so that you didn't feel the uh, pieces of wire and that just makes it a little more comfortable overall.